What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the chaos. My name is Vlad the Tech, and today we're going to be playing some more Invasion Nation. And if you didn't catch the live stream, there were a few things that changed. First one being we got the equivalent of four Pale Tongues. We actually got a Fork Pale Tongue, which is what you get in Rosaria's Fingers Covenant for defeating a member of the Blue Sentinel. Yeah. So that's cool. That's worth two pale tongues. We're going to go turn this stuff in. And we also maxed out our covenant rank for uh, the uh, Sun Bros, the Sunlight Warriors covenant. So we got Sacred Oath and one other one. I don't know if it was Lightning Stake, Lightning Blade, or whatever weapon it was, but we got one of those. And today we're going to be playing the game a little bit differently because of what happened on the live stream and I'll show you guys when I get to that but first let's go turn in our reward for slaying a bunch of people shall we oh yeah I forgot to mention Maya went through a small change we actually used one of our pale tongues to change our appearance so she looks a bit different now she actually looks very pretty and very deadly which I like it which is actually why I've been sticking to this crown here recently because I actually want to see her face she doesn't have a managed face anymore, so we fixed that issue. But now, offer pale tongue. Dos. Yes, my mistress. Fucking. Ro oh, oh, sorry, broke your shit. But for these, we actually have to use them. So now we have two pale tongues. Probably should have done that first, but you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. And we should actually be getting pretty damn close to an, our final rank for this covenant. Which means that, who knows, maybe at the end of this episode we might actually have all the ranks we need to finish out our covenant here. And then we'll just move on to the next invasion based covenant. Which will probably be Aldrich Faithful. Because that one gets a lot of invasions. Same thing with the uh, Watchdogs of Farron. Anywho, we're in the Untended Graves, and this time, we're going to be using the Red Eye Orb. Because this place is a hot spot, which means multiple people may be invading at one given time. So, that's the primary reason why I'm doing it this way. Okay, so one of the primary differences between using the Red Eye and the Red Sign Soapstone is that uh, the person getting invaded has no choice on whether or not they get to duel you. Oh, you also might run into shit like this. Yeah. I forgot to mention that. One huge gigantic side effect. You have no clue what kind of situation you're walking into. So, I'm probably gonna lose this battle. In fact, there's no question about it. I'm going to lose this battle. Yeah. Because he's got two. I've got one. Already off to a bad start. But as you guys probably know, whenever I die during an invasion, I still have to go collect my souls. With here, it's not as big a deal because of some lore reasons, which I'll get into here in a minute, but... The same thing still applies if you're using the Red Eye Orb. Wherever you die, that's where your souls are going to be. And since you can invade from anywhere, there's no guarantee that you'll be in the same place to go collect your souls. Unlike the Red Sign Soapstone, if I die right here, ugh, my souls will be somewhere in this general area. So, yeah, that's the disadvantage. There's two of them. Well, I really only have to kill one. One major disadvantage, like I said. Does that count as a victory? Do I get a pale tongue for that? Phantom Dave has died. I don't think I get shit for that. I'll just stay here till he uses all of his shits. 
Sorry, bro. You're gonna have to come out and face me. You're gonna come out. You're gonna come fight me. Nah, he's gonna go challenge Udex. Or Champion Gundir, sorry. It's like popping out to say hi. No, you're a butthole. It's gonna go away. About fucking time. The little coward was just waiting for his friend to come back. The fuck was that bullshit? Okay, something I did want to go into a little bit of context about, and that is the, um... Souls thingy. <clears throat> if you're here... And you die... One bonus of doing that... Is that you can go to the... Cemetery of Ash and get your souls back in the exact same place you lost them in the untended graves. So, there's one advantage. Okay, I think this person's AFK, so we're just gonna murder them. Don't walk away from your keyboard! Bad things happen when you do... So the reason why I'm deciding to use the red eye orb instead of the red sign is because I might possibly get paired with another invader. Basically, if two people invade the same person, you're not enemies. You can fight the same person. So, you basically get to help somebody kill somebody else, which is nice. I know, it's kind of dirty, but I just want to kind of finish this covenant up. Just so it doesn't drag out. Uh, so that it doesn't drag on forever and ever. Hey. How's it going? Ah, oh, crap. He's going to summon a phantom, isn't he? Oh, well. I know. I have an idea. Apparently, Ethan Bradbury's just been summoned. I'm not fighting all three of you. Are you fucking kidding me? Yes, I'm playing dirty. This dickhead just summoned a bunch of phantoms to help him. That's kind of bullshitty. Come on, face me like a real man. Forgot to mention that can happen. So... Don't let that happen. Even bigger dick move? Go to the final boss fight. <laughs> Why do I keep getting this bullshit? Oh, really? You're going for the fucking door. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I was so close to killing that guy. Come on. Hey, look, I remember all of you. Yay. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. That's kind of the other thing you gotta worry about when you're invading somebody with the red eye orb. 
They'll use dirty ass tactics like that. And you're on your own. <clears throat> Probably more reason I should just go back to Anorlando and stick with the uh, red sign. Okay, so one of the things I do want to do is I want to get my intelligence up to level 15. I was going to mention this at the beginning, but I want to get my intelligence up to level 15 just so I can control other enemies in the area that I'm fighting in. <clears throat> so yeah, that way they can help me fight. All right, let's see how you do. Ah, shit. That was dumb. How come I can't hit this prick? What the hell? And how come he can... No! You, you've gotta be fucking kidding me! I wasn't within the striking distance! Okay, Road of Sacrifices. Getting kind of pissed off. I don't know what it is about my luck today. It's just been terrible. Hell, the beginning of my week's been terrible. It's just been shit all around. This is just the icing on the fucking cake. Hey, bro. How's it going, bro? Oh, what? You backing up? Yeah, nice try. Oh, come on! Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Well, I think gravity decided that one for us. All right, so... Boink. How's it going? We'll be careful this time. We have no clue what he's planning to do. He's probably trying to parry me. Seriously, when I'm out of his swing radius, it shouldn't hurt me. I'll take a few hits. My health recovers on its own without me having to drink Estus. And that's game. Come back if you want to try again, dude. <sighs> Merely what? My second victory? That sucked. Never mind, I think he's a bit. Maybe he was AFK. Maybe. I'll still take the tongue. I mean, it's fine. But I'd rather have a challenge. Yeah, some tells me the red eye's the way to go right now. Because this is. I haven't been summoned into anyone's world yet. It's kind of depressing. I don't get it. Where is this guy? I'll see the usual stream of dead people. Hey. Hey. 
What's up, bro? Ah, oh, they're ganging up on me. Cool. Well, that was easy. Exactly why I wanted to do this. Makes things so much easier when you have help. The cool thing is when you invade somebody and you join up with another player, it doesn't even matter if you're within the same covenant, you'll still get the covenant reward for the kill. So, all is well. This time, you're going to have to look extra hard, because the last time it wasn't as obvious as, what, as to where he was. And it looks as if he had just ran around everything just to get to that one giant crab in the middle of the woods. Oh, you're just gonna wait for us to battle it out? Okay. As long as we're clear on that. Oh. You hit like a fucking ton of bricks. Oh, you both hit like a ton of bricks. Now's probably a good time to run. Hey. hey, remember when you bullied me? Yeah, I've got a friend too now. Oh, the other guy had died. Yeah, I thought so. Oh well. Okay, so we've got summoned to Jan the second. Or Gina the second. I'm not sure. I don't know how to pronounce that, and I'm not even gonna try anymore. Alright. She looks like she's using a magic weapon. They had the same idea I did. Use strength weapons, but light armor. I don't know how that didn't hurt me. Shit, if only this thing had more reach, it'd be a perfect weapon. Ah, shit. Seriously, I'm outside of her reach, and she can still hit me. Holy shit, I'm dead. I'm not dead. This is what we'll call a fucking miracle. Never mind. Okay, I think we're done for the day. We're just going to go turn in our tongues and uh, be done. I love that. That was actually pretty good. Sup, Bay? How you doing? Have these four tongues. Still not enough to satisfy you? Well, fuck you. Okay, so that's going to do it for Invasion Nation today. This was actually a shit day for invasions. I got my ass handed to me way more than I did in the live stream, which is weird because I was knocking it out of the park on the live stream. You guys can go check it out for yourselves. It's up on the, the uh, channel right now. But uh, today was just shit. I don't know what the hell it is, but everyone seemed to have to want to summon a bunch of people to try to kill me. I don't know what that's about. Why would you want to do that? Why not just fight fair? Then again, I tried to fight them against their will. 
But we're going to end the episode here. If you like what you see, smack the shit out of that subscribe button and you will get new content every day from me. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, feel free to show me some love down below by hitting that like button. And don't forget to check out the annotations for more videos. And I will see you in the next video. And he's down. I don't know how this will turn out, so I'll wait till the end of the painting. Wait, what the fuck? Excellent? Excellent. This is an excellent painting, guys.